we can't be the same person today, right? We cannot be the same person today, tomorrow. You understand this? I have to change. Like for example, I'm trying to be a billionaire now. There's no book on how to become a billionaire. I know the way I am right now is not good enough to be a billionaire. So I need to change, right? I need to do things differently. If you become a millionaire, you don't do the same thing and then become 10 million pounds. Every level we need to change. Change how we think. The more money you make, the less it's about you. If it's about you, you are not gonna make it. So I gotta change all the time. That's why I have eight coaches and do this and do this and make this better. I try to avoid mistakes. Mistakes can set you back for years. So if you make the right moves, you will checkmate your opponent. But first we gotta say, how do we win at the game of business? Because it is a game. And by coming to my class, you already got a set by winning the game because you're gonna have that head start. The first 91 days are the most important days of everything. It's all about the first 91 days. They dictate what the rest of your life is going to be. Because if nothing happens in the first three months, you don't have a small victory or a big victory, then you know it's another seminar, another seminar, and you don't get anything different. So the 91 days are very, very important to take action. That's why we focus day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. You know, here's so the thing. I'm, there isn't I'm one thing that way. works. It's doing 25 different things. At the end of the day, number one is, are you doing the right thing? A lot of us can start doing the wrong thing. You could be like, okay, but I'm focusing on this. It's not going to work. Or it doesn't make money. Here's a question. Does it make money? When will it make money? How quickly can it make money? And how quickly get me to the next level? Because many of you, you need success fast. Nothing beats a slump than your first deal, your first business, your first partner. Because that solves all, you know, first you, you, you build that competence that leads to confidence. Confidence leads to success. Success leads to, um, uh, you know, to uh, other things. So got to get your confidence because you're not going to be successful. If you wake up in the morning, you're not sure, which by the way is hard because everybody tells you you can't make it. Uh, business with partnerships, 50%, 60%, depends, 40%. Depends what your level are. You and I would never partner 50-50 because I'm JT Fox. So, right? Just like I'd never be... I'd be 30, you said? Oh, you'd be 70, right. And then we wake up. Uh, just like Trump, you know what I mean? Like, you have to know your role in the food chain to start off with and what value you bring. People say, I'll do all the work. Plenty of people do the work. So it really, really depends. When you all come to the program, we're going to talk about partnerships, how much, what you should get. But at the end of the day, you need someone who needs you just as much as you need them. Like, I don't need people. Donald Trump doesn't need me. So Branson doesn't need me. So you got you to gotta make yourself valuable. The more valuable you are, the more people will take action, the more they will grow. What? Other than buying your program. Results. You know what I mean? Just like at all my successful students that came on stage all less than a year. Nobody can say that. It can sell whatever you want. At the end of the day, nobody gets results better, which is why I'm the world's number one wealth coach. So sometimes we say, JT, I don't have a business. It's not bad. It's actually sometimes good as opposed to say, I have this business and it's horrible. <laughs> I have a lot more of that. The question is, what problem are we solving? What solution are we finding? That's how you become successful. Solve problems, find solutions. That's how you make money. The bigger the problem, I'm solving a problem for people who don't have a business idea. I'm giving you the solution. Um, for those who don't have marketing and branding, I'm solving that problem. For those of you that are billionaires that want to work with me, that want to take it to the next level and want a new way of thinking, I'm solving problems. So you're constantly solving problems, finding creative solutions. That's how you make a lot of money. And when you come to the class, I'm going to teach you how do we think. Like for example, you sir, you are a left brain. Analysis by paralysis, do you have your own business? You tend to do everything yourself. You overthink way too much. No one could do better for you. Partly is, is because you come from a background that you have to do everything yourself. You have not learned how to create a sustainable business and duplicate yourself. Right? How do I tell? Because right brainers don't wear pens. You understand? Because right brainers, when we go on dates, chicks don't dig that. You know what I mean? Plus, we've never run out of ink. I've never run out of ink in my life. Did you sign up for the program? That'll change. But your brain, is hurting you right now, but if I could turn it around, it could be your greatest asset. Also, passive income for you in the future is gonna be your key, because your strength is analyzation. But your paralyzation now is what's sending you back, right? Uh, the thing with Asians is Asian ladies, there's two things. Everyone says you can't make it. It's a cult, it cannot, it's a cultural thing, right? Asian women, 
And if you want it bad enough, you prove everybody wrong. Some of the most successful entrepreneurs in China are females. You got to want it more. That's the key. And don't listen to anybody, right? You see, when you want to succeed, as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you know it. I get up in the morning, I want to do what I need to do. I want to push forward, you know? I don't come here for the money. I come here to change lives, and the results speak for themselves. Think about it. every country I've been, I've brought people from that country on stage that have had amazing success. Results don't lie. Now, is it easy? No. You're going to have to do the heavy lifting, right? You're going to have to give sacrifices. I said, people say, I can't, I have to watch the Premier League. I said, it's fantastic, but you're broke. You know, I could have gone to the Pacquiao Mayweather fight. I had tickets. But you know what? I got asked to go to Germany and I was in Malaysia and then South Africa and I said to myself, there are people who want it that bad. Now, should I have gone to the fight? Yeah. I paid my dues. I could afford it. But sometimes life works in mysterious ways. Successful people are willing to do what unsuccessful people won't. As long as you take action, you play the game to win. If you don't, nothing happens. For those who don't take action, tomorrow's gonna be the same thing, the next week, the next day. Some people had no money, they take action. Some people have money, they take action. At the end of the day, it really depends where you are in the food chain. But if I had no money, I'd get up every day, the earliest possible, and I'd get late as possible, because the only thing you bring to the table is your time. You know what? My mission has always been, when you have no money, it's all about the money, right? When you have no money, it's all about the money. Everybody says that's not true. That's not. You may, because here's the thing. They say money doesn't bring happiness. I don't buy that for one bit. Money brings freedom. Freedom to do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. Once you have the freedom, then you can do whatever you want. Now that I've made money, it excites me more to have people on stage. Like, I like that. I like going to charity and helping people. But you also can't help other people unless you help yourself first. Yeah. Broke, nobody wants help from broke people. When I was broke, nobody said, JT, help me. Now that I have money, everybody wants me to help them. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. Everybody says it's not, but it is. Yes. You're not a millionaire yet, I want you to act like one. Because the way you act is what you become. Yes. Right? I always tell people that. Fake it till you make it. No, don't fake it till you make it. <laughs> act as if. Because if you fake it, I'll see through it. Yeah. Right? Nobody knows what you're worth except by how you dress, and I'm not talking about expensive suits or anything like that, but how you dress, how you act, and how you interact with people. That's how, and when I look at people, I look for reasons not to do business with them. And successful people too, they don't say, well, you're, you're dressed like you're a farmer, or, you know what I mean? Or you've been wearing the same clothes for a week. Like, when I go to events, doesn't matter what it is, I always dress to impress, because I never know who I'm gonna meet. You never know who you're gonna meet. And if you wear a JT Fox tie, you will become so successful, you don't need to work. Is it? All right, guys. So, what, 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 one more questions, and then they got a uh, yes, sir. Steve Jobs did not change my life. My coach Nito changed my life. Um, but I have to say, when you are around, here's the thing: we all need heroes and models and mentors. And what I've learned from Steve Jobs is obsessive, compulsive on the small details. They make the big difference. So, I will see you all at the class. Thank you very much.